All right, g'day everyone. Declan from Elros TV. Uh, today we're going to do a bit of a different video. So normally we do a walk around and show you through the van. Today we're going to change it up, give you something else to uh, have a look at today. And we're actually going to interview the owners of this van, so you get a bit of a bit of a customer insight this time instead of myself just uh, walking around the van and explaining what it is. So let's go and talk to the customers in the van now. All right, so we're just gonna roll with this off the cuff today. Uh, here with me is Peter and Julie Sparks, so they're proud owners of this new ECX19 that we've just uh, delivered for them today. And we're just gonna go through and ask them a few general questions about uh, their experience with Elros and, and why they chose this particular model and, and the features that are inside it. So guys, um, how did you find the overall experience with uh, Elros from design all the way through to delivery of the vehicle? Well, I suppose, uh, first up, we did a lot of research. Actually, Julie did most of the research uh, for probably a couple of years before we came to you guys. And I think, uh, first up, one of the great things about Elros and dealing with guys is that um, you're really totally focused on quality. Uh, quality of product, and you can see that you know when we first came through your your um, your workshop um, that was in the old um, premises, and it's even better here now, of course, in the new place. So that was a really big thing. Your small small business, and uh, the services being fantastic. Um, you know, just that personal touch. Lots of little things that you do do that you wouldn't necessarily expect uh, has been fantastic. And the other thing. Um, I suppose as well that's really good is that you use as much as possible of course you use local suppliers and that's a real a real bonus because most of the competing caravans get built over east so you don't get that um, that West Australian kind of product coming through which is good for the economy as well but you know the other thing is that we've been able to come here and have a look at the caravan as it's been being, uh, being built and that's um, been really a nice experience as well. That's great. So, uh, what would you rate as one of your favourite features of the caravan that you've built with us? Oh, gee, that's a really tough question because there's so many. I think the, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but the new battery management system sounds absolutely awesome. No, we can't tell anyone that yet so because it's non existent yet, but yeah. it is coming out we'll, soon. We'll keep that a secret between <laughs> ourselves. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's really good. I think the uh, just the little things like the custom toolbox is um, is fantastic. Overall, the actual finish of the caravan is a feature all on its own. The actual finish is, and I'm a bit OCD like you, Declan. I like everything to be just just so, and this is beautiful. Julie, your favourite feature? Ooh, the bin draw. Oh, the bin draw. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fairly simple one, so it's 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 mostly attainable in any van. But yeah, it is an important feature, on no doubt, on a lot of people's uh, list of items that they require in the van. Uh, so tell us about uh, a little bit about your experience with uh, just the general factory layout and how it's been received with all of the other staff members here at El Ross as well. Well, your team uh, just a really bunch of good guys. Um, I'm sure you're planning to employ some women at some stage, but anyway, you've got a good, a really good bunch of guys that I think really care about the products, and um, they're always very, you know, cheerful and happy to have a chat to you. And you know, like your Justin, your auto electrician, he's he's a, a terrific guy, top bloke, uh, always happy to help out and friendly. And the layout of the factory is really good. Uh, you can see where the quality comes from because it's organised, it's set up like it, it's clean and generally clean and <laughs> you can, you as much as it can with a manufacturing facility of course yeah and um, you know things look like they work really really well and I think that's always a, a good indicator of what's going to happen with the caravan uh, where do you think your first uh, trip's going to be uh, when you take the van away we're close to Christmas now so I'm sure it's going to be um, going to be off uh, for a trip somewhere you bet, yeah, we, we can't wait, we're really excited. We're going to Bustleton uh, first up. Um, Julie cleverly booked a house, just in case. No, just yep. kidding, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
No, we'll be, we're just having a bit of a family get together for Christmas um, at this place in Bustleton. But then after that, the excitement really kicks in because we're going to Denmark, we're going to be off grid, mm. we're going to put it to the test yeah. out there um, down in Denmark, amongst the beautiful trees, and uh, we're really looking forward to that. Uh, how do you think that you will find the next 12 months? So, you, Are you pre-planning to spend more time in the caravan or are you still busy with work? Still busy with work but we're definitely going to make some time to do mm. a big trip. We're sort of thinking about uh, the Over East trip in April. We'll drive the Nullarbor, uh, look forward to just sort of parking in the middle of nowhere and being able to enjoy the luxury this van offers. Um, out in the in the wilderness uh, along the way we'll go see some stuff and uh, we might even put it on the ferry and head over to Tasmania as well and tackle the windy roads there. Yeah Tasmania is a really good place I think we've got a few customers that are actually uh, planning to go over to Tasmania in the next couple of years so you'll, you'll be added to that list. Now in terms of other manufacturers um, who was on your initial radar and why did they uh, not work out to be the, the manufacturer of choice when it came to decision making? Yeah, that's a good question. I might have to throw it to Julie here because Julie did lots of mm. research. Oh, who did we look at? JB Caravans? Zone? I think the reason why we chose Zoros because it's WA based, we could actually come in and check on the van and um, we could actually just um, come with, when, with, a, with an appointment of course. Yeah. Um, come and check out what was happening with our caravan. That's great. So one final thing, uh, if you could change anything in your van, what would you change and why would you change it? Uh, gee, I'd probably put the, the little fans, the Sirocco fans, we'll put them up on the, um, the just on the cabinet there. But that's, about, <laughs> that's only a little thing, right? That's, a, that's about it, actually. So far, really happy, but um, yeah. Apart from that, nothing. Yeah. Right. No, nothing. No. All right, there you go, guys. That's a little bit of an insight with a bit of a customer testimonial today. I thought we'd do something different than just giving you a generalised van tour. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that little snippet. Uh, that rounds us out for the year. Uh, so Merry Christmas to all, and we'll see you in the 2024 for a bigger and better year. Thanks. Can't call to see you guys. <laughs> mic check, mic check. Yeah, mic check. Mic check, mate. You just tell me when you're starting to walk in. Oh, yeah, sorry, action. Ah, oh, you, you better probably. Have you got your uh, Have you got your confined working with spaces card, mate? Uh, yeah, it's in my wallet. Yeah, okay, cool. One of the other challenges that we've had with the hybrid series van is that we've also had to. Lazy, lazy Australian English. G'day guys, Declan from Elros here today. We're going to show you this very new, and it's our first of the, oh no, nah, let's do it again. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't sure if you were, I couldn't hear you. Because it was, so as we come across to the front, you're, you've got the camera light on.
Yeah, all right, just go. Just go. Yeah, I'm bad for that. I don't know why I do that. No, I was just, I was just trying to... I get the same thing, but obviously don't let my hair grow long. Two hundred amps. Discharge. No, oh, hang on. I'm just setting up. I'm setting up. No, I'm gonna stand up. Hey guys, just a quick, quick tap. Can't laugh. Hey guys, just a quick tech bulletin here to update everyone. Um, new product coming out soon for Elros MPS batteries. 200 amp lithium hard case uh, made of aluminium, made in Australia. Um, it's going to be something that you'll find in Elros's pretty soon. We're also working closely with MPS um, on a few other little things that we can't quite release yet. But um, yeah, keep an eye out on the page for these because we'll be, they'll be going in the van soon. Very high quality, made in Australia, 200 amp discharge. Um, yeah, keep an eye out. We'll be updating these very soon. Cheers. G'day guys, Declan from Elros Caravans here. Today we've got a new product release to go through with you today. Oh. All right, so today. When? Today. All right, so we're gonna start with the exterior as per normal on most of the van. And then yes, because I'm gonna get heaps of questions in the comments. We don't have an airbag door at the moment, unfortunately, just waiting on supply to come in. Had to run through and still do the video anyway, so that's why there is no door on that. So thank you for pointing that out. Mic check, one, two. Yeah, all good. Onto the chassis and the nitty gritty on that. It's obviously a four. Oh, damn it, I said obviously again, man. Number 10. 